Ничего так я ярко не помню, а, как слышу звук необыкновенной тишина и слышно, как работает сердце, и слышно тяжелое дыхание. Вот я сейчас закрываю глаза, я вижу все Черное море, я вижу Крымский полуостров. Это не карта. Это то, что я видел. Вот как это? So spacewalks among the coolest things that uh, human beings have ever done. Imagine yourself, you, you go outside, you're wearing a big uh, puffy spacesuit, it's hard to move around, uh, your legs aren't really useful, you're moving around on your hands, you look down and it's uh, a 250 mile drop straight down. Bam, Wile E. Coyote has nothing on you, right? And you're going around the planet uh, you know, at 17,500 miles an hour, so for 45 minutes you're in the sunlight and it's hot. I mean, like wicked hot, like, you know, 250 degrees or you know, 300 degrees. And then, bam, you're in the cold. It's dark. You can't see anything. You got your little headlights that are helping you, and it's cold. It's like wicked cold because it's like minus 300 degrees. And then it's hot again. Then it's cold. In the meantime, you're supposed to go out there and do some really important work. American seven stations. Семь модулей, российские пять модулей. Они все собраны космонавтами, которые находились э, в открытом космосе. Мы бы сейчас не имели этого удивительного комплекса, если бы мы не умели работать в открытом космосе. Not every astronaut gets to do a spacewalk. Spacewalks are dangerous and the only thing that's really helping you is your training you have a great team on the ground that's taught you how to do this and your friends that have talked you through it you have a, a voice in your ear from the from the IV person who's talking you on, on what next step to do so you have all this going for you and yet it's uh, something where the primitive part of our monkey brains think wow I can't let go if I let go, I'm going to fall from this tree. And it's not true. But you know it's not true. But it's just uh, and it's just amazing experience. I haven't done a spacewalk yet, so it's something I definitely look forward to and I'm kind of curious to see how I, I'll feel when we open the hatch. We use a, a large swimming pool called the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory to train for, for spacewalks. And a lot of people think that being in that pool and floating is like floating in microgravity, but it's not. You're kind of out there by yourself with your spacewalking buddy. No one else is there. Most of humanity is 250 miles below you. It's uh, kind of curious to see if I th if I think it's like, uh, you know, if there's a kind of scared of heights aspect to it. Walking in space is dangerous, and it's fantastically hard. 
A suit designed for a spacewalk is tailored to the particular astronaut. That means any one suit can cost as much as $20 million. A spacesuit actually is its own completely separate space vehicle. When we send crew members out to do spacewalks, they are separated 100% from the space station. And so you're going to be carrying your thermal protection, your pressure system to keep yourself alive. You have your oxygen so you can breathe. You have water to keep yourself cool, power so that you have communication. And you also have self-rescue devices in case you become untethered from ISS. So you are your own separate space vehicle while you're out there for your spacewalk. And we are definitely aware that everything that we have processed and put together on the ground has to work. I feel a lot of water on the back of my head. Are you sweating? Are you working hard? Um, no, no, it's not sweat. No, it's not sweat. Hey, Luca, can you clarify, is it increasing or not increasing? It's hard to tell, but it feels like a lot of water. Oh, so that stuff on your forehead is not sweat? No, it's not. So the water was stuck to the back of his head to have water inside a helmet of a, of a spacesuit. Um, obviously, it's bad. The fear would be drowning. Uh, and the, the fear is, can you get a, a, a gulp of air? I'm wondering if, that, if the water is getting to my ears. It's too much. I don't know. It's a lot. Yeah. Hey, Luca, oh, can yeah. you give us a status of where you think it sounds like we just heard you cannot hear? No, 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 I can, I can hear perfectly, but my head is really wet. Copy. All right, Chris and Luca, just for you guys, uh, based on what we heard with Luca saying that uh, water is in his eyes now and it seems to be increasing, uh, we think we're going to terminate EVA case for EV2. So, Luca, we'll have you head back to the airlock. In the military, we say problems happen at the fold of a map at night at the intersection of grid lines and, and that's what happened because it was perfectly sunny day we we're very static at that point now they tell luca to go back and just as that happens the sun sets and when the sun sets on the space to space walk it's pitch dark Okay, we're back with you, Luca. Can you give us a status? Hey, Chris. Kind of saturated with water. Jan, oh, did you hear all that? Got Copy. parts of it, Chris, but if you could relay, that'd be great. Head is saturated. It's in his eyes as well as in his uh, nose and mouth. That's where we're at. I, I recommend, Shane, that we just get Luca in there now. That's correct. We want Luca to hop in now. And Chris, you will come in second and do the hatch ops. Uh, that sounds great. You copy that, Luca? I, I, I barely hear you. Yeah, Chris, you need to unhook Luca, then unhook, unhook yourself, and then get in. Roger that. Right. Hey, Luca from Houston, how you doing? Give us the status. Did you hear that? Squeeze my hand if you're fine. Look. Shane, I don't think he can, uh, his voice is going out or he, he can't hear you, but I'm trying to see him. I remember thinking, what do my hands need to do in the next 45 seconds to make this problem better and not make this problem worse? Chris, uh, you can close and lock the hatch. Roger that. Karen, over to you. OK, copy that. We only need steps 6, 7, 12, and 13, and then we'll take it from there once you get the helmet on. Ace 
special. This is Luca on two. If you have questions for me, just just so you know, I'm alive and I, I can answer those questions too. Uh, Luca, we are delighted to hear your voice, delighted to see you, and um, we'll come to you with any questions as we get them. Thank you very much. На сегодняшний день тяжелее работы на земле еще никто не придумал. Вот как работа в открытом космосе. shaving your head for. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. When you're out there, your brain is so focused, like it's never been before, on exactly where your hands are. And in fact, that's why you need someone like me, an IV, walking you through the procedures, because there's just no way you're going to remember all that stuff. Your suit is looking good. We just wanted to double check that. We feel really great. Start your buddy checks, head to toe, call it out, and I'll let you know if you missed anything. And thanks, uh, thanks for those words, Tracy. Appreciate it. You bet, Joe. It's their first time out there, two rookies together. And though Scott's no rookie to space flight, you know, though it's his first time out there, it's not his first time thinking about it. And uh, he really uh, put a lot of work into preparing for going out the hatch today action in the airlock. The gate is closed and the slider is locked. Copy that, guys. Station Houston on one, we're go for EVA. 31 copy, CV2 copy. Thanks, guys. And I'll see you on the other side. To don um, the spacesuit and to go out uh, into open space is uh, almost incomprehensible. Вспоминаю вот первые слова, которые я услышал в открытом космосе. Слова командира, который мне говорит, Леша, не торопись. И вот эти человеческая доброта в этих словах, именно не алмаз, как позывной у него алмаз один, я алмаз два, а он говорит, Леша, не торопись. Леша, заканчивай, Скотт. Не торопись. Set your TCV to maximum cooling. Okay, I'm in max cold, and that's pretty cold. <laughs> Copy that. Hey, Tracy, I'm on the uh, handrail bridge. Got my hands on it. It's going to be all you grunting. That's it. You got it. I'm with you. That's that's how you earn your paycheck today. You guys probably noticed that the sun came up, huh? Yep. I bet it's a welcome change, huh? Well, don't forget those visors if you haven't used them already. They do come in handy when that big fireball is uh, staring at you. Welcome to the forward phase. Can you guys see this? Oh, yeah, seriously. Awesome. 